Beer Fest at Busch Gardens in Tampa returns with all new Oktoberfest-inspired menus. Each weekend through September 5th, park guests can toast delicious brews and coast on epic thrill rides at Busch Gardens Beer-inspired food festival. In fact, this festival blends the best of local craft beer scene with the time-honored traditions to create a unique food and beer celebration. And of course, out here in the kitchen is Eddie Delgado, Public Relations Manager for Busch Gardens. Welcome, Eddie. What's Thank up, Thank you for Eddie? having us. Yeah. You got the last thing right. I, oh, yeah, Delgado. <laughs> Yep. Get that accent in there. <laughs> you have to do it. You have to do it. And we have so many new dishes. I know that this is the fifth year that Beer Fest is returning to the park, but now it's more Oktoberfest inspired. Tell us about that. That's right. This is the fifth year of Beer Fest at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay, and we're very, very excited. You know, it started off last weekend, and I was there myself to experience it firsthand. Fifth year, and this year we have an all new menu inspired mm -hmm. in Oktoberfest. So, I brought you a little bit of what we're offering throughout the park for all guests, but yeah, what we have here is a charcuterie pretzel, a very oh, charcuterie pretzel. I'm very torn right now. I'm not gonna ah. lie. So I like want to dive into the pretzel because nothing says, in my opinion, beer right. fest and Oktoberfest like the pretzel. big pretzel. But then you've got the charcuterie board like on top of it. Do Correct. I like pick? Can I go to the pretzel? What, you, what's, what's the you, what's you the can, tip, Sadie? You can dive right in, but you will be pleased to see that we optimize every little space of that you pretzel. Did. Yeah, it looks so good. It I looks kinda really don't want good. to, but I do. I'm go good. ahead, girl. Go yeah, ahead. I have a little bit of cheese, pickles, um, and of course, um, olives and cold mm. cuts. Yeah. yeah. And this That's is only great. one example. What else do you have down here? As, yes. as we're taking a closer look at the charcuterie board. See, I waited till we got the shot. Now I can dive in, right? Yes, you may. Well, Go ahead. Let's keep talking about the food. Okay, we yeah. have um, over here a barbecue beer glazed rib mm -hmm. uh, that's sitting on top of a red cabbage, sweet nice. and sour. Mm. Very good. You know, it harmonizes really well, uh, the sweet and the salty. Uh, that's another one of the good ones. Yeah. And in the same place, you would have... Um, other options as well within that realm because mm -hmm. we do have the smokehouse. Right. So that's another great option. And on the right, on your right, you will have the sauerbraten slider. Nice. Okay. What is that? That is a marinated beef in a sauerbraten jus. Okay, uh -huh. and it's topped up with a little bit of cornichon or a pickle. They call it cor um, a pickle. I like oh, it's it. say much more fancy word. Yeah, well, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's there in the park to practice the German for sure. There you, know? you go. And I know the whole point of it is the more than 50 different beers that we can sample, or I mean, I'm not going to do that, but people can. <laughs> so tell us about, you know, different flavors this year that we can expect. That's right. We have uh, 70 plus items for sipping and eating and more than 50 beer options but it's not always about the beer there's also sours and ciders for the mm. ones that don't like the beers it's mm -hmm. also good to know uh, and it's it's good to you, you can experience all of this by the, getting a sampler that is perhaps the, the best, best way mm -hmm. of sampling everything there is about beer fest we're actually taking a look right now of people in the park making mm -hmm. the most of beer fest and we've gotten to know your your festivals through the years yeah. explain though to viewers maybe they're new to tampa bay how they work and how it's included in admission where you need to go kind of those kind of tips that you know we've gotten through the years that we want to make sure and share yes definitely beer fest is included with theme park admission so with your single admission that will give you access to the entire beer fest cabins that are perhaps 14 uh, scattered throughout the entire park but there's also a good opportunity to become an annual pass member because by doing so you can only get access to beer fest right now but on top of the benefits you get to experience all the events that we're going to have throughout the entire year nice oh, so yeah. here's a, your the lanyard, lanyard sampler mm -hmm. yes different Same. different numbers too it's different uh, variations Correct. for the mm -hmm. prices which is very important for those that want to go overboard and hey have a good time yes. and those <laughs> that just want to sample a few things a little bit for everybody right yep they start at 35 <laughs> uh there's an option for 5 8 12 and for past members is an exclusive deal wow 15 for the price of 12. Thank well you, you know what we are yeah. out of time this is how you begin uh, a so show so let's <laughs> cheers to cheers. some fall beer fest there's yes. our cheers there Here's the information so you can go ahead and have some fun with Bush Gardens Beer Fest again through September 5th. Everybody, we hope you stay right there because guess what? More Morning Blend in just a few minutes. Cheers. Cheers.